papermaking fascinates me more so from the technical aspect than uh, the art end of it. I'm thoroughly enraptured with the idea of what a plant will do. Every plant makes a different paper and it takes a different process to make it. Most paper makers actually work with recycled materials. They'll take um, copy paper or matte board, soak it and run it through a blender and create their paper. And you can do some wonderful things with recycled paper. I'm just more interested in the plants and what they will make and what kind of paper they will, uh, different, different colors, different textures, different strengths of paper that they will make. Uh, paper making is a multi-step process. You go out, uh, let's say I was going out to harvest some uh, mulberry bast. I would go out, harvest that, strip the bark, cut the bark into one inch pieces, and uh, soak it, wash it, get all the bark off of it. Then cook it. Mulberry bark I would cook in sodium carbonate. Some things have to be cooked in lye. Then you rinse it and then beat it. I have a Hollander beater that I use for many of the things that I make. That creates a pulp of individual fibers. You gather the pulp then, put it in water and suspend it in the water and then pull it out on the screen. And this creates a wet sheet. You take that and then put it in a press and then dry it. I don't set out to make paper to be therapeutic, but once I get into it, I find that it is. It's, it's, it's mind freeing because I can, it's a repetitive process. Your hands become trained to pull exactly the same way to pull a perfect sheet. And uh, the mind, it lets my mind ramble. It, and it is therapeutic along that line. I, I do paper making strictly as a hobby. I burned out as a wood carver and I do not intend for that to happen again with paper making. I started carving when I was about six years old. My father showed me how to sharpen a knife. I did it for a living and enjoyed it thoroughly until it just the pressure of producing pieces for other people just got to me. In order to get away from the pressures of carving, I took up basketry for a hobby. And uh, I did that. I've been weaving baskets for probably 20 years. Paper making tends to lead you in a direction, one direction or the other. You make paper, you have paper, you keep making paper. And after a while, you've got too much paper, so you have to find something to do with it. So I began to explore other directions that I could take it. What I could do actually with wet sheets, uh, forming vessels, or working with the dry paper and binding them into books. Oftentimes, the inspiration from a piece will come from the, from the plant material that I'm working with, the color of it. For instance, uh, 
hickory often looks like the outside of a loaf of bread. A lot of times, a piece of, something out of nature will suggest something to me, and I'm actually copying what nature uh, set in front of me. I have a hornet's nest in there that I created just simply from having looked at a hornet's nest and thinking, you know, I have some gray pulp that's exactly that color. I make paper, hornets make paper, why can't I make a nest? I really enjoy teaching. I enjoy teaching more than making something to sell. I would rather have somebody else learn. Uh, what a fascinating hobby, hobby it is. And like I say, I got hooked on it, and I'm trying my best to hook other people as well. I want to build a papermaking community in Berea. It's, uh, there are a few papermakers here, but no one works with plants. And I've been working toward developing a community that I can benefit from as much as anyone else. Mm -hmm.